Okay, so I want to do a reading on whether Donald Trump is an actual billionaire or not. But first, before I do anything, I have to say this. Jen Lynn Tarot. Thank you so very much. Like when I seen, I get notifications when people comment, or like I get an email. And when I seen your name pop up, I was like, oh my God, because I have been subscribed to you since I started YouTube. And to see your name pop up, I just kind of shocked me a little bit. And then you had nice things to say. And I was like, oh, I always knew you would. I mean, I didn't think you were a horrible person. Like I said, I've been subscribed to you since I started, but... I don't know. It was just it was just one of those things where I don't know. Thank you. That's that's what I do know. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you for everybody who came over to watch the video. Thank you for those who left kind comments. Um, that was very touching. Thank you very much. And I'm going to put her her um, YouTube channel down in the description. And Sienna Rose, I did find that channel. I'm going to watch it a little bit later today, and I'm going to link it down in the description, too. Got to support each other. So, again, thank you. Thank you very, very, very much. Very, very much. So, I want to do a reading on, is Donald Trump a billionaire? Because apparently he inherited $413 million from his father. So, let's see. Is he a billionaire? Because according to him, he said, when someone asked him, are you a billionaire? He said, this is what he said now. It depends on his mood. Like, what school did you go to? They go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, mood, eight, nine, ten. No. Are you a billionaire or are you not? Do you know how to count? Probably not, but that, that's just me being mean. But I don't think you do. It depends on his mood. So, let's see. First card first is the Queen of Pentacles. This is a money woman. Um, like I said, you're not necessarily a billionaire. You come from a billionaire. But that's a money woman, so let's see. The Ten of Cups. That is family money. The Nine of Swords is at your base. You have deluded yourself, Donald. But, I mean, you know, that's not necessarily a news flash, though, is it? Then there's the magician. You had what it takes to convince everybody that you were. So, I mean, can you really hate him? Yes, but anyway, moving on. Then there is the high priestess. There's another secrets card. I'm going to go with the no. There's the Eight of Swords. You trapped yourself in that cage. If you're going to be a billionaire, now you have to live like one. Your fear is the, of course it is. It's the Two of Pentacles. This is balanced, but this is also not. The Ten of Pentacles will be the largest amount of money that the deck will show you. The Two is pretty much the lowest because the Ace is like the beginning. Then there's the Four of Cups in your environment. That is boredom. These cards are really dark. I probably picked the wrong background to do that with. But anyway. King of Swords, that is you. The Emperor. No, excuse me. The Empress. Now, why do women dominate your reading right now? Because Melania is not a billionaire. Let's start at the beginning. So there's the Queen of Pentacles. This is a woman of stability. This is a woman of means. Um, uh, 
Who is this to you? That's very confusing. It is crossed by the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is the family card. But it's not family money. This is just saying it's family. So, did you get your... You got your $413 million inheritance from your father. Huh. We're going to do more cards, but I'm stuck on that. So then anxiety and um, fear is at your base. You don't want people to find out because what your crown and thought is, is the high priestess. This is the card of secrets and mystery. It's also the card, though, of feminine energy. Is Donald Trump a billionaire and I get nothing but feminine energy? I get the Queen of Cups with the Queen of Pentacles. This is the money woman. And then the Ten. But this is also feminine. This is like um, your intuition and your guide. And your, if you have psychic ability, this would pop up a lot for you. He is not psychic. Well, everybody's a little psychic. You just have to learn how to unlock it. But then his outcome is the Empress. The Empress is like high feminine energy. This is highest, the highest feminine energy. This is like the, the high priestess is like the deep feminine energy. This is like the true form feminine energy this is also like births and marriage and pregnancy and things like that so is it saying he was born into wealth yes oh was his father a billionaire i mean he had to be as much money as he gave donald's inept behind and he went bankrupt six, seven, eight, nine thousand times. Because what I think this is saying is he was born into it, but he personally is not. That's why the mother energy comes up. And then the pregnant woman and his outcome. Who, if you can see it, like I said, it's kind of dark. She is pregnant in the card. And there is sort of like boredom and discontent in his environment. He was born into it. There's the four pinnacles that is clinging to what you have. So, ooh, there's the ten of swords. The page of swords. And then the knight of cups. His world changed. It changed a lot. There is the Four of Pentacles, which is clinging to what you have. Ten of Swords, which is loss. This is him going bankrupt ten times. Then there is the Page of Swords, which brings by delayed or disappointing news. And then the Knight of Cups, which is a travel card or it's like a romance card. But I think his constant... Being bailed out is what gave him his fascination with money and possessions. Because when you go back in the day and see the interviews Trump did, like he called David Duke a disgusting person. You know, he was that guy. He said in an interview, I think I was watching, who was it, Bill Maher, when he did um, his new rules about um, the ghost of Christmas past or something. He was doing a spoof on that and saying... What if Donald Trump had never been born or have, if Donald Trump had never something? I don't know. Go look it up. But Donald Trump said, he was asked a question. What's more important, love or money? The man said love. He said that out of his mouth. This is the same person who told his son, Eric Trump, Eric Trump was actually doing something for somebody else for a change. He was doing a little charity get-together or charity dinner or charity something at 
his father's resort. And Donald Trump got wind of it and said, well, I don't care who he is, you charge him. Because Eric Trump was using the facility, he thought, for free. Because, you know, we're doing it for charity and this is my father's resort. Nope, he charged him. He charged his own son for holding a charity dinner at his resort. The Knight of Wands, that's new money, new job, new opportunities. Born into it, you did not make your own billions. You don't even have a billion dollars. Oh well. 413 million still ain't bad.